Jacoby Stevens. Jacoby, David Pulse from Associated Press. My question is, what went wrong, you know, in the passing game? Was it scheme? Was it execution? Just what do you think went wrong? Went wrong? Um, that's something that we're going to go um, look at um, Sunday and uh, Monday, on Tell the Truth Monday. Um, the best thing we can do right now is not point any fingers, but go attack the problem, not the people. Um, but the best thing to do, uh, I mean, right now I can't say if it's scheme or if it was actually Mississippi State, what they ran, but I, guarantee, I can make a promise that we're going to get it fixed. Hey, Jacoby. I mean, obviously the coverage was an issue today throughout the game. I mean, I guess just, you know, throughout camp, is, did, that, did that replicate what you saw in camp, or was this a pretty out-of-character performance? I mean, when you're, missing, when you're missing one of the best corners in the nation, it's going to hurt. And uh, he went down sick uh, last night, and, it, uh, you, know, we, you know, it obviously showed that, you know, um, when, when, when one of your biggest pieces go down, it, it, it can hurt. Jacoby, whenever whenever things are going that way with uh, young, inexperienced players, I mean, what what do you what do you say on the sideline? What were what were the conversations as the game was going on? Well, it, it, it always starts off with keep your head up, um, uh, go to the next play, and um, but as the game goes on, you, you got to tell those guys, hey, it's time to uh, step up. You can't, you're not a young guy anymore. You're representing Louisiana. You're uh, you're playing for LSU, so there's no young guy. There's no young guy uh, mistakes out there, but um, we, we try our best to keep them calm, uh, keep them level-headed. But as the game goes on, um, that, that, rookie, that rookie tag or that freshman tag has to come off. Hey, Jacoby. Uh, we talked a lot leading into this week about what the atmosphere would look like and creating your own energy and things like that. What was today like in terms of atmosphere, energy, and, and all those aspects? Um, I, I think that uh, you can see that, you know, um, you know, 25% is not uh, full, how full capacity LSU would be. Uh, but the people that did come, um, they were loud, they were into the game, and I really appreciate uh, them being into the game. and. Uh, being the great, the greatest fans uh, in college football. I mean, they they didn't um, live down to any expectations. Um, but uh, it, it's not it's not normal, and um, I'm I'm hoping that this uh, you know it, it gets better and we can allow more fans into the stadium. Hey, Jacoby. Uh, just what do you think that y'all can do as a secondary moving forward? Uh, to get better, uh, as you guys have, you know, are going to continue to have to rely on young players in a couple different spots. Mm. Uh, the best thing is is to go in and watch the film and attack the problems. Um, it's the best thing to do because I mean it's all over the tape. Like they say, the eye in the sky does not lie, and uh, that's the thing that we need to do. We need to go back and we need to look at the film, and we need to critique uh, all, everything that went wrong and uh, and improve. I mean, uh, you know, just talking to Jack. Uh, in the locker room, you know, an early loss is, is, a, is an opportunity to, to uh, bounce back and get better. Or you can go the other route and just uh, keep um, falling down a slippery slope. So I, my intentions are uh, to learn from my mistakes, uh, lick our wounds, and come back next Saturday and uh, get a W. Hey, Jacoby, uh, I mean, you guys were able to create, you know, four turnovers tonight. And you guys were, you know, getting some pressure on, on Costello there throughout the game. I mean, what did you see, I guess, from that aspect of things, you know, you guys able to get pressure on him throughout the course? Well, it, it's exciting, you know, you know, like I said, the, it was exciting to see the front seven unleashed. And, you know, uh, last year, you know, we complained about not having a rush. So now that we have it, so now it's time for, um, the back end to step up. I mean, it, it's all it's all over the film. It was all over the field. So now we got the rush that we want. So it's not, and now it's time for us to step up. Hey, Jacoby Brooks again. Um, I mean, kind of a two-part question here. But you know, 
in this in this program, you all pride yourself so much with your your secondary, uh, calling a DBU, and you know you have so much standard for it. And I mean, throughout this game, and I mean, looking back on it, like wh how, how do y'all feel like through that? Um, I mean, that pride has been. How much is, how much do y'all feel about that pride now? And also, whenever I mean, it seemed like there were moments where y'all made some comebacks. You know, Elias Ricks got that interception. You had that strip sack uh, fumble. I mean, did you feel like y'all? kind of had some redemption there to give yourselves a chance and what did it feel like at that point? Um, the, the first part of your question is embarrassing. Um, just like, um, you know, it, it's like going into a, a boxing ring and getting knocked out. I'm, uh, you know, it, uh, it's not a good feeling. Uh, yeah, we do pride ourselves on being DBU, but DBU didn't show up uh, today. Uh, on the second part of the question, you know, that that's the reason why we keep fighting. Um, that's why Coach O always says, you only can win the game in the fourth quarter. And that's why we kept fighting and, and we kept trying to make plays and put ourselves in a position to uh, win the game. Uh, it obviously didn't happen, so like I said, we got to go look back and, and see what we can do better um, in the beginning of the game, uh, early in the game, so we don't have to be put in, in those type of positions anymore. Do you feel any more uh, pressure on your shoulders as a leader on this defense after uh, the type of loss that you guys have had. Uh, no, I, I don't. I don't feel any. Uh, I don't feel any more pressure. I mean, I already hold myself to a, a really high standard. Um, like, I, like I said, uh, this is something that you know, as as being a leader on this team, I have to hold everybody accountable. I got to hold myself accountable, and that's what, that's what I'm just going to do. Um, that means I need to. Uh, I need to be harder. I'm, that's what I'm. That's what I'm going to do. I'm, that means I have to tell guys to come, let's get some extra film. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do anything that's going to allow this team to be great and be successful and uh, get wins. Hey, last question for Jacoby. Jacoby, Matt Trent, WBRZ. I mean, you guys haven't lost a game in two years. Was it weird to feel this type of adversity and this type of frustration? And how do you think? guys on the sideline, defense, offense, special teams, handled it today? Oh, well, 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 that's what I told some of the guys. Uh, I mean, I don't know if this is a knock or this is a bad look, but I'm a sore loser. I don't like losing. Um, you know, I, I get mad when I lose. You, you can go back, you can date back and ask my, uh, my mom and dad. I would throw a fit or I'll quit an Xbox game if, Xbox game if, I, if I'm thinking I'm about to lose. So this is not a good feeling uh, in my mouth right now, and, and that's, a, that's the thing. I'm going to go back and, and, and see how uh, to get it fixed because uh, I don't want to lose again, and I don't expect us to lose again. Thank you, Jacoby. Thank you.